credentials. But what he's saying is that when they study, study inspectors from prisons, But as a as the same pitch, so the same frequency is doubling as a as a pitch, so that the the original frequency um, it starts with a geometric dimension of zero because it just keeps doubling exponentially. But then when you double it, then the the um, natural number frequencies are both overtones and undertones, and so the three compared to the four, it changes it, changes the phase, so it's not commutative. So now it's a it's a perfect fourth instead of a perfect fifth, and so even though it's the same frequency, it has a different geometric shape. So it's is isospectral, but now it's isometric. So in other words, it's in the same octave, but it's a, it's a different um, shape because it's a perfect fourth, not a perfect fifth. And whereas you can also um, change the, the frequency so that you have, so that you change the, the original octave. So now you, if you take a subharmonic, then you have two thirds instead of three halves. And so now your octave is the instead of the two. And so it's still the perfect fifth as a ratio. Um, but you're going in the opposite direction so that the three is the fundamental tone. So as I pointed out, in terms of music, if you, if you have a perfect fourth as the overtone, then that, then that changes the, the denominator, the denominator octave. So that is no longer the one. So now you have a so now you have three as the denominator, so it's not a, a pitch equivalent of a geometric dimension of zero for the for the octave that grows exponentially by by the ratio. So that's why there is no perfect fourth in the in the overtone series. 
if you're just listening to the source of the one. And so this is why in the when he when he says the secret non-commutative phase of the music, normally we think of music as just as um as just adding the, the exponentials. So what they do is they'll they'll add the octave together. So they'll take the fifth, there's three halves. And then they'll take the octave and they'll say if you have uh, two octaves or seven octaves, it's almost the same. as energy so the acoustic oscillations are pressure energy even though they're immaterial as space so therefore the 